Hey guys, it's Dane with DynastyBreaks.com. You picked a great case to watch here. This is going to be fun. 60 graphs in this case of uh, 2024 Leaf Metal Sports Heroes. Got multi autos, Hall of Famers, uh, messy autos possible, Curry, Shaq, uh, and you can see some of the quarterbacks here. Uh, we are doing this personal box style, uh, and we've actually never done it this way before. Everyone in the break is going to get two boxes, two sealed boxes. Let me stack these back up over here. We will uh, randomize your names to see who goes first. There's 10 people in the break, and then we'll just go straight down the left. We'll go uh, row one and work our way down. All card ship, of course. So here's the uh, names in the break. Thanks for joining in, guys. This is a good deal. Everyone in the uh, break going to get six autographs. Uh, this is, I guess we call this double personal boxes. And again, a dynasty favorite, or uh, a dynasty first. Probably going to be a dynasty favorite. Um, let's randomize your names five times. That's what we do on Thursdays. One, wait for it. Two, three, four, and five. This will be the order we go in. Five times, Doug Bala. Cheer up, Doug. You're first. Down to Josh. Wee. Wee. Doug down to Josh. So relaxing. Wee. Right. Um, maybe not. All right, Trevor will be uh, typing in your hits just so we have kind of a record of all the hits in the break. For our uh, shipping purposes, Trev, the shipping guru, coming fresh off his birthday. Um, all right, Doug. Dougie Doug. Do, 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 do. Doug, here's your two boxes, man. Doug, don't have to be so blah. Yeah, no, don't it's be blah. Good. Don't be blah, Doug. Carly's auto is in this. Awesome. No, that's that's the Leaf Annoying product. It it's, was like, I think it was last year it came out. It's just a one of one because she's so rare. Or is that the mustache insert set you said? No. Why Did you hear him say that? He, he apologized, Carly. He did apologize, though. He, he apologized. That was just a Halloween costume, Trev. Opening boxes is hard. Man. Wow. These are tight. Oh, look at you trying to... He's just trying to sneak out of the box. He's trying oh, to... top loaded. Nice. They are top loaded. Let's get a boom for that. Pre-top loaded. Thank you, Leaf. All right, we don't need that. Get those out. small boxes with tape. Dominique was trying to sneak out of the box. Put those cards where you can see them here. Whoa. Dominique Wilkins, bam, scenography. That is a good-looking card. I'm going to call that a black crystal, perhaps. Uh, 11 of 15. Dominique. We've got a cool design, man. Larry Little, Hall of Fame Dolphins player. Dave would approve of that. Larry Little. There's Douglas. What's up, man? What up? Larry Little and Dominique. Not bad. Awesome. Larry is not little, by the way. He's a, he's a large man. And the first ever draft pick of the Dallas Cowboys is Bob Lilly. And I don't know what number draft pick Carl Eller for the Vikings was. That is an unusual dual auto. I wonder if they're the same class. They may be the same college, same year, drafted, not sure. You guys may tell us. Uh, that is the number two, George's favorite insert name, the number two. And it's three of three, not two of two, strangely enough. That is awesome. Nice. Dual auto out of the gate. All right, Doug, your other box. Again, two boxes for every spot. Leave a comment. Uh, on this video if you're watching please let us know a couple things what do you think of this product would you like to see this again and what do you think of our breaks let us know yeah Carly that's it hey I, all I know Carly and you can talk about this in the comments too there's one person in dynasty history that said you had a mustache and it was not me I would I would never do such things <laughs> you would never do such things. I would things. never do such things. I would wow. be, oh man, never. Like uh, fancy people say, I would never. <gasps> I would never. And they, they go, I would never. Like that, if you're really fancy. You know, if you're like uh, uptown or whatever. Well, I never. I never. They seem <laughs> offended. Uh, Elvin Hayes. I'm very offended. Elvin Hayes autograph. Another uh, black crystal. It's a very cool card. 11 of 20. This is obviously multi-sport, if you guys hadn't figured that out. 
Acetate, Jackson, Smith, and Jigba. College heroes, number to 15. A JSN action. That's cool. Let me get my white card to put that behind this. You can see the design a little bit better. That is cool. I think he's going to be really good for Seattle. And I hear this guy's going to be good. We'll see how he turns out. Joe Montana, 2 of 10. 1990, a season to remember. Is that like that movie, A Walk to Remember? That's your favorite movie. I don't even know what that is. But it, yeah, I don't remember it. <laughs> Get it? I don't remember it. The Walk. I don't remember it. I think there's a Star Wars movie. I think there's a Star It's e Ewok to Remember. <laughs> Ewok. I think there's a, yeah, I think there's a Star Wars movie. Ewok to Remember. Uh, Chad is next up. I got good jokes tonight. I'm nice on dude. tonight. I'm on. Congrats on that Montana, Doug. Spitting it out. It's my shoe buddy, Joe Montana. We talked about shoes when I met him. I'm not kidding. He liked my shoes. I liked his. We had a moment. It's your boyfriend. We actually had a five-minute conversation about shoes. Not kidding. About how you shouldn't tie your shoes. You should just slip them on. Thus... I mean, I don't want to be gross, but I don't want to take my shoe off. I don't want to touch my shoe. But I got, I got Hey Dudes on right now because Joe Montana told me to. Just think about that. If Patrick Mahomes told you to do something, you'd do it for the rest of your life. I don't know about that. Yeah, you would. Why does one card always sneak out? Maybe he's trying to escape. Maybe he's letting the other cards know if, he, if they can get out. Ooh. You're going to do big things. See Game Boy game in his future. Yeah. Walt Frazier. Look at this. Now that's a mustache. Those are some nice sideburns too. Uh, signature decade, 1970s. Walt Frazier. Five of seven. I kind of wish I was in this break. I know it's not possible, but it's kind of fun. Uh, Charlie Scott. Charlie Scott, also the 1970s, sticking to the 70s basketball, and it's 7 of 7. Charlie Scott. A little acetate action. And uh, all basketball in this box. Patrick Ewing. As much as I was a Chicago Bulls fan and I couldn't really stand the Knicks, I do respect Patrick Ewing. I like him. I like Patrick Ewing. The missing link. 3 of 5. That's messed up, huh? The missing link. To what? Patrick Ewing. That was his nickname. No, it wasn't. <laughs> yeah, it was. I thought it was the Jamaican something. He's Jamaican. You knew that, right? I, everybody I knew called him that. I don't understand that. <laughs> I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't understand that. <laughs> I don't want to understand that. Actually, there is no. Maybe there's only one of these on each box. I don't know, Carly. Dane doesn't have a heart. I don't understand that. I don't, I don't know why you said that. All right. Um, <laughs> what do you mean? I don't, I don't like that you said that. All right. Um, Are you offended? I kind of am. Ooh, we have a mag. Ooh. This card is in a mag. That's interesting. All right. We've got... This is Maria... I don't know how to say the name. Uh, Gakding? Maria Gakding? Am I saying that wrong? Uh, five of seven. Five of seven. Is that that's WNBA, huh? Uh, WNBA or college? I'm not sure. It could be NIL. Interesting. Not sure how to say her name, so apologies there. I wonder uh, if Caitlin's in here. I know you guys are shocked that I can't say a name. All right, we've got Darren Sproles making an appearance. That's a boom, Darren Sproles. We never see his all. Chase State, baby. Guy, it's been several years since we pulled the Sproles auto uh, to 49. No, I wasn't, Carly. No, I wasn't. All right, we've got Floyd Mayweather Jr. Boom. Wow, that's awesome. Inscription autograph. The dollar signs, the signature, the TBE. Is this a one on one? No, it's 42 and 99. Wow. Kind of surprised there. A little bit higher number than I thought. Floyd Mayweather. Congrats, Chad. Call that a gold parallel. Love the inscriptions. I'm glad they put that in a mag for you, too. All right, that was Chad. Chad did well. Sterling, uh, shout out to Sterling. Sterling always gets into our personal box breaks, and we really appreciate it, man. Sterling is a personal box kind of guy. 
He's a personal guy. He is personal. He's personable. Dane likes to lie a lot. Carly, you got soup in your mustache. Yeah, right? Big card. I'm liking these. I'm liking these that are, they got one big card and two little bit smaller cards in each box, it seems like. I like the vintage. All right, here we go. Here we go. Dwight Stevenson starting out for Sterling. Dwight Stevenson. He looks happy. He looks like a happy fellow. That is numbered to 49. And we've got Andrew Jones. Move that over in the top loader a little bit. Uh, Braves legend. More gold gloves than I have. See, yeah, Skeeter was there when I met Montana. Skeeter was there. Yeah, that's because Skeeter was giving him bedroom eyes too. He didn't. Uh, he didn't hear the shoe conversation. But what did Montana say to you, Skeeter? Did you go in that line or did you skip that one? When we got to meet Montana. All right. Speaking of, hey Skeeter. Uh, he's talking to Skeeter right now. Four of four. Joe Montana going to go to Sterling. Awesome. That is a purple acetate card. Is it just me or does that not look like Joe Montana? It looks like it just, it doesn't look like 16 on the jersey. It just looks like six. Kind of a weird picture. A little strange on the picture. Well, there's the ones covered up. All right. Oh, this is a good looking card on top, man. Woo, I like this. Red and black as any good Falcons card should be. Michael Vick, a season to remember, 2006. Beautiful. He was a rookie in 2000, as I recall. First overall pick. Uh, 16 to 20. 2006 might have been the time that he was incarcerated. <clears throat> yeah, Emmett, Emmett was okay. Uh... Yeah, Emmett and Irvin didn't say anything to me. They like they like wouldn't speak. I don't know what was going on. I was like, hey, I used to work at the uh, Cowboys training camp, uh, the the shop. Yeah. They they didn't even answer or acknowledge what I said. Really? No, they, they just they like, talked to me on that. Now they took a great picture with me and like, hey man, come here, whatever. But when I said that, they just didn't respond at all. It's like, hey, I used to work at the Cowboys pro shop when you guys were in Wichita Falls. They just go. They were waiting to talk to Skeeter, I think, so they didn't want to talk to me. Uh, my guy, Carlos Baerga. Carlos Baerga. They did take some good pictures, though. Emmett and uh, Irvin got a good picture with them. Baerga. Love me some Carlos Baerga. And I also love me some Tom Glavin, a season to remember 1991. Those Braves pitching staffs. Staffs? Staffs. Those Braves pitching groups were dominant groups. Man, yeah, they should have won more. Five of six. No kidding. No kidding there. They won one, right? Uh, they just won in 95, I think. Yeah. I think 95 was the only one. Hey, congrats, Sterling. Nice ones there. Got some Hall of Famers. Uh, Bruce, S-A-N, Bruce. Bruce. Hit the enter button for me, would you? Bruce. Two boxes for you, Bruce. Good luck. You have your cursor on there, you know. Oh, do I? Yeah. Let me get that out of here. Get out of there. Technology. Get out of there. I love this set. This is fun. Nice break. Did you have a crush on Fran Drescher, uh, Thomas? Did Dude, you have a crush? Fran Drescher was awesome. I had wow. A crush on her. Wow. <laughs> exactly. I will never do that again, I promise. Never. Never do that again. All right, we've got Steve Sachs. I have not thought about Steve Sachs since I was like 14. And when I thought about him when I was 14, I was like, eh, whatever. All right, uh, Steve Sachs, that is going to uh, be number to 25. Actually a really good player and a pretty popular player back in the day. 
All right, 1970s again, Robert Brazil, Hall of Famer. Got to hear his Hall of Fame speech in Canton back in 2018. He's a big boy. He is a, he's a big guy. He was not not that big. He had slimmed down some for sure when we, we saw him at the uh, Hall of Fame. Triple auto. Oh, Lenny Dykstra as a Met. Whoa. Lenny Dykstra, Dwight Gooden, and uh, Daryl Strawberry. That's a good one. There's a little bit of white on that card. What? Let, let me let me explain something to you. <laughs> I'm gonna explain something to you after we go off there. Let me explain something to you. Things we that that can go on your channel. Uh, one of four. Lenny Dykstra, uh, and I'm not kidding, and, and you know, no, I don't know Lenny Dykstra personally. From what I've heard, one of the worst guys ever. Like, that's what I've heard too, actually. Been in prison, like done some bad stuff. I don't know if it's true. He might be a, an angel. He might be my, you know, next best friend. I don't, I don't know. But Lenny Dykstra. No, no, Daryl Strawberry Dot Good. No, uh, you know, no angels floating around. But, <laughs> but uh, not probably. next to the clouds. Unless the never mind. <laughs> yeah, you gotta, you gotta. You gotta not do that. Do whatever. You gotta not do that. You and your innuendos. All right. All right. Boom goes the dynamite quote. Haven't heard that in a while. All right. Nice on the uh, triple Mets card. I, I don't. I don't ever think of Dykstra as a Met. Always a kind of a Philly. Mercury Morris. There you go. Man, look at the shoulder pads from back in the day. Mercury Morris. <laughs> like bladed. That is crazy. You can hurt somebody with those shoulder pads, man. Uh, that is three of three. Congrats on that. We've got Aaron Rowand. Aaron Rowand? I am going to be totally honest with you. Could be Rowand. I don't know who this is. I have no idea. Looks like a Yankee. I'm going to say White Sox. Oh, huh? yeah. I don't, I don't remember him. I, I really don't. I don't know if I didn't watch baseball when he was, I don't know. Definitely, it's White Sox. I don't know what happened. All right, 1990s. Oh, it's the worm. Dennis Rodman. Signature decade. That is awesome. Awesome. Got the jersey he should have on the Bulls. Five of ten. Yeah. That's Bruce. Here you go, Bruce. Jamie from Georgia. Jamie from Georgia. We got any more of this product coming up? Uh, we do not. Are you going to think about bouncing? I or? might get some more if I can get it at the right price. Tell You guys let me know. It's all up to whether they want to. Uh... We. What's up, Josh? Center fielder for the 2005 White Sox. There you go. Only a true White Sox fan would know that. Good luck, Jamie. Jamie has uh, two spots in the break. <laughs> Freaking right. Oh, Neil Smith. Red crystal. Trev's a buyer. We pulled the Neil Smith out of uh, our mixer last night, too, out of a Panini product. Starting to get some Neil Smith uh, signings out there. Uh, six of nine. Trevor's favorite number. I want that. Jamie, I don't have to get a hold of you. Trevor wants that one. I want you, this one. You didn't give me a... Oh, you need the card for yeah. Jamie? Jamie doesn't need a card. He's famous. He's famous. All right, Jamie. You're not allowed to have this one, Jamie. You can just give it to whoever. Give it to me. Tony... Bredinger. I don't know who Tony Bredinger is. You're going to have to tell me on the comments or in the chat room. If you leave it in the comments like later, if you're watching the recording, they probably already told me in the chat room. Just <laughs> saying. They've probably already let me know. Two of five. But Trevor will take the Neil Smith. I'll take this one. She's got bedroom eyes. You are talking about... You're talking about Jamie? Yeah, I'm talking about Tony. I'm talking about Jamie. Uh, Ray Lewis, the Reverend. I love me some Ray Lewis, and I love how this card looks. Anytime you get a, a Ravens card with the black background, very cool. Ray, Ray Lewis. Ray Ray. Low number, 2-7. 2-7, baby. I think he was 18. I think we heard his speech as well. We heard Randy Moss, Ray Lewis, Brian Dawkins, Erlacher. I think Lewis was one of them. Ray Lewis, Neil Smith, both all-time great defenders. Yep. Oh, she's a race car driver, Jamie. Nice. You're not going to be allowed to have that in your house, Jamie. It's kind of like the Hope Solo picture you sold. 
See, some of these don't have two stickers. They have one. Isn't that weird? Not kidding. It's a little strange. All right. Only one mag so far in the case. That is Brutus Beefcake. Brutus the Barber Beefcake. One nice. of one. Our first one of one, I believe, right? Yeah. Yep. Let's get a boom for the beefcake. Trevor changed his vote. He, he would rather you trade him this one than the Neil Smith. No, I want that Neil Smith. Brutus Beefcake. I mean, do I need to explain why he has that name? No. All right, we've got George the Iceman Gervin. Nice one here. Whoa. George Gervin, baby. Spurs great. <clears throat> hey, Crystal, could you uh, could you put Carly in a timeout real quick? Appreciate it. All right, we've got Zach Eady. Again, I'm probably saying it wrong. It's probably Eddie. College Heroes. That is a red parallel. Uh, one of 25. Very popular player, I'm thinking. Doesn't he have a dual auto with Caitlin Clark in the tops now? Maybe I'm thinking of somebody else. I think that's a nice one. There you go, Jamie. Nice, Jamie. We are halfway there. Mike is next up. Mike Chi from the great state of New Mexico. Mike Chi. Funny, I've been looking for a Neil Smith auto. So if you're willing to sell that, Jamie, I'm a buyer. I'm a buyer. See, there's two stickers on this one, interestingly enough. Yeah, Crystal's going to come after you, Carly. I'm going to give her ultimate moderator status for this for this break only. I'm also looking for a pack-pulled Derek Thomas. He's only had three different pack-pulled autos ever. So if anybody has one of those, let me know. That would be a task to find one of those. Merry Christmas, Trey. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Uh, we've got a D Brown. Remember when he dunked like this? Remember this? What do they call that? The Statue of Liberty? Didn't he do the Statue of Liberty? Yeah, D Brown for the Celtics. Slam dunk champion. Nice, nice. Mike leading off with the D Brown and the Statue of Liberty. We got Jonathan Papelbon. Papelbon, Papelbon. Uh, four of five. I don't think I've ever seen his autograph. Hmm. Papelbon. They got a large checklist here. This is impressive. Oh, seriously? Uh oh, this ain't cheap. Uh oh, one of one printing plate auto. Messy. Whoa, that's a that's a big one. That is an expensive card. That is a beautiful card too. This is not one of those printing plates where you can't really see anything. He's in the, the MLS now. Blue plate special scenography. Going to be some people after that one. Wow. Man, messy. Good night, Irene. We're only one box in, Mike. You just uh, you just made your break right there. <laughs> one on one, messy. Ah. Uh, woo. Had to had to make sure. I was like, oh, I think I know who this is, but let me let me make sure. I don't want to sound stupid. Golly. Nice mic. Probably don't see a messy in most cases, much less a one of one. All right, Mike, your second box. This is just going to be icing on top of the uh, cake we just made for you. All right, Sky Clark. Sky Clark with two eyes, kind of like Sky Moore. The more wise, the better. Sky Clark to 49. All right, we've got Cito Gaston. I don't think I've ever seen his autograph. This is getting super unique. You see poker? Cito Gaston's baseball, isn't he? Oh, okay. I got to look up Cito Gaston. Uh, one of nine. I've heard that name a lot. Cito Gaston. He's like a manager, maybe? Used to play at yeah, Blue Jays. See, former outfielder, coach, and manager. Managed the Blue Jays. Played for the Pirates, Braves, Padres. Cito Gaston. Gaston. Man, Mike, you must be living right, dude. Messi, one of one, and number to ten, Mike Tyson. Wow. 
That's Good awesome. night. Both are from the scenography set. Jeez, Mike. Too bad the Jake Paul fight's canceled. Oh, is it? Yeah. Why'd they cancel it? Uh, I forget why they canceled it, but they did. Interesting. If anyone knows why they canceled the Jake Paul fight, let us know. Paul ATK. Maybe man. Jake Paul got hurt or something. Maybe. How do you how do you follow up Mike? How do you follow up Mike? That's pretty impressive. It's like following up Tom Brady or something. No, Jamie. Crazy. I'll DM you. DM you? Yeah. Oh, direct message. Yeah. DM you. You and your kids and your uh what do you call them? Abbreviations? L O A. L O L O O M G. R O F L. I think R O F L. Rolling on the floor or something. All right, we've got Keenan Allen. Going to go to Paul. Good start, Keenan Allen. Nice. Hey, it's got that Chargers look to it. He's got the powder blues on. Three of four. The bear now. He's a bear. Ah, uh, poor guy. Right, <laughs> we'll, Skeeter? We'll see. I mean, dude. Poor guy. Once his name might come out and just be a complete stunt. I'm just kidding. Uh, I'm just messing with Skeeter because all of his teams that he likes are horrible. Um, Stetson Bennett for the Rams. Season to remember. 2022. Got a college card here, Stetson Bennett. Yeah, I'm going to slide into his DMs. <laughs> Ask him. Five of ten. ASL. Question all right. Mark. We've got... Fred Bolit, what a weird pairing! Fred Bolitnikoff and Devonte Adams, both Raiders. So you got the Raiders connection. That is really cool and really unusual. Which I like most sets when they're a cool and b unusual. Six of six. I've got a couple Bolitnikoff autos in my collection. Actually, his stuff is way underpriced. If you want to pick up his autographs from like Impeccable. It's not they there's not that many of them and I don't know people just don't pay up for him. He's a he's a great. When you know when you get the Bolitnikoff award you're the best receiver in the country. So pretty sure Fred Bolitnikoff was pretty good to name the award after. I mean I never watched him play but All right, we've got Larry Nance Senior of Cleveland Cavaliers fame. Larry Nance Senior on the acetate. And we've got, what is this? Nice auto. Ray Mancini. Uh, Ray got crazy with the pen. I think he started having convulsions when they handed him the pen. Looks like he signed his last name three times. Good night. The whole Declaration of Independence is in there if you decode it. Uh, 18 of 39, Ray Mancini. And triple auto time. Roger Worley. Paul Krause and Ken Houston. Let's get a boom there. You guys tell me the connection here. Is this going to be three Heisman Trophy winners? Uh, is this going to be Rookies of the Year? I don't, I don't know. Is it the same college? There's some sort of connection there. 26 of 40. Are they all wearing the number 22? They look like they are, actually. So maybe that's why it's in... Well, this isn't the two set, so I don't know. There's some sort of connection there. It could be jersey numbers. He signs everything like that? That's crazy. Wow. I want to give him a big poster and see if he fills up the whole poster. <laughs> All right. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. So next up, uh, who we got? Nick? Nick. Nick PAI from the great state of Utah. You're up. One of those squiggly pins. So these are yours, Nick. This is the last one from the other stack. This is the top box from... I Final thinking, rope. I was thinking it looks like, you know, when you were a kid, you'd grab like three pins and you'd write something with three pins at once. Yeah. Oh, it does look like a squiggle pin, too. Yeah, three or three pins. I don't know. That That's a weird auto. They're all heroes. There you go. That was the connection. We have a mag. We have a magnetic. Mag time. You'd think the messy would have been in a magnetic. It's yeah. Weird. All right. We've got Mike Pruitt. Mike Pruitt. Uh, former Cleveland Brown, I believe, Mike Pruitt. That Pruitt look, Ford. Looks like uh, 8 of 9. Pruitt Ford, famous here in our uh, neck of the woods. 
Joe Dumars. Love me some Joe Dumars. Uh, one of the bad boys. Good defensive player. Good, uh, pretty good offensive player too. Joe Dumars. Used to have the task of guarding the goat back in the day. And Money Manzel. Uh, laugh all you want. This card is going to be desirable. Inscriptions. And he did write Money Manzel. It is a Johnny Manzel type night. We started out with uh, 2014 Chrome Football. 96 of 99. There you go, Nick. That's a clean signature, too. Clean signature on the Manzel. Not who I was expecting. No. Man, this checklist. One good thing about this product is we really haven't doubled up. Right? There's so many names in this. I feel like they're just unleashing all their autographs they have in stock. I feel like they're just kind of taking them all all there so you don't have a lot of repeats. Probably why the uh, product's a little more expensive. Come on. All right, Nick, let's finish you off here. We've got Joe Delamere. Again, I never know if I'm saying that right. Joe Delamere. That is uh, number 39. We've pulled his jerseys a few times. I feel like he's a Buffalo Bill. Correct me if I'm wrong, guys. I feel like he was a Bill. And Ralph Gar. Ralph Gar. Boy, they are reaching back in time. Season to remember, 1974. <coughs> Ralph Gar. That is an orange crystal. One of four. Braves, maybe? Yeah, I don't remember. I think I think that's probably right. And we've got uh, Ari, Arna Sabalinka, one of three. I feel like this is a big deal. Arna? Arna? Arna, maybe? I don't know. Arnya. I'm going to say Arnya. I'm going Arnya. One of three. Sabalinka. You guys let me know. Is she pickleball? Why do I feel like she's pickleball? Maybe she's tennis. Um, not sure. I feel like that's a big one. I feel like being on the back of the box like that. And the other two cards were kind of, eh. I feel like that was a big card. All right, uh, Jamie, getting your uh, second spot in the break. Paul Kraus, all-time interception leader with 81. They were all defensive backs. Okay. Okay. I wonder if anybody's going to break that. 81 picks, that's a lot. Yeah, back in the day, they would get like 20 a season. No. Some people. Like, the record's like 18, I think, a season. In one season? 20? I, I don't know about that. Maybe. It's, like, back in the day, there was like all the interception records were like – Missing a from the sixties and seventies. Missing one of these stickers you guys can see on this one. Good luck, Jamie. I wonder will anybody break that? Probably not. Uh -huh. I mean, the leader now is like ten or eleven, so you'd have to do that for what eight years. You have to have like, or or you have to play like fourteen, fifteen years, and uh, but eventually, if you intercept enough balls, they just don't throw it at you. Like Deion Sanders, you just never get thrown at anymore. Yeah, quarterback plays revolutionized. Back in the day, they were go back and look at like. Uh, but they also didn't Joe Namath and stuff, and Joe Namath was just. But horrible. they didn't throw as much back then. True. So you wouldn't have as many opportunities. It's weird that it's weird that that has stood actually. Uh, Jalen Green of the Houston Rockets. What do you think about Jalen Green and his future? Let us know in the comments. Number to thirty nine. There you go, Jamie. Come on. We've got Elvin Bethay. I think a father of Antoine Bethay um, that played in the NFL as well. He's a Hall of Famer. There you go, Jamie. There you go. Justin said it's 14. But, like, nobody gets over 10 in a season now. 14 back when they didn't throw the ball much is, is crazy good. I mean, I don't know if that's when the record was set. Oh, Night Train Lane. Yeah, it was. That's, that's crazy back then. Hey, how about a boom for uh, for Jamie? Jerry West, the Logo Man. Half a boom. Is it just me or does Jerry West not look healthy in this picture? This is skinny, young Jerry West, but it looks like he hurt his back. Look at that picture. Yep. It looks like me right now with my back problem. Uh, that is 9 of 39, Jerry West. I think he hurt his back for that picture. They're like, hey, we're going to get this picture. We're going to put you in Leaf Sport Heroes in about, about 40, 50 years. 
Take a picture. Maybe 60 years. It's a nice one, Jamie. We're filling up this trash can, aren't we? Come on. Oh, I'm gonna like this box, Jamie. Gonna like this box, sir. This is a uh, Vince Papali. There you go. What is that from uh, Unstoppable? Was that the movie? Mark Wahlberg played him. Former uh, Eagle. Vince Papali. We lost Trevor to TikTok. Trevor's on TikTok. Uh, to 20. Vince Papali. Oh, this seems like a one on one to me. I may be wrong. This is a great box. Luca. Modric. I don't know much about soccer, but I do know what a gold vinyl looks like. And this is going to be a one on one. Let's get a boom for that. You guys know anything about uh, Modric? 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 Modric! Now, Luca. Luca Modric, a one on one. And uh, Dan Marino, my friend of Dan Marino. This is, uh, this is a good a boxer. It's a good a boxer. Marino, no boom for you. No boom, no boom for the Marino. Still no boom. Oh, it didn't go off? We lose a Trevor. We lost a Trevor. Dan Marino looks like Chucky in this picture. Look at this. Look at the face. He looks like Chucky. Don't ever look at that card, Jamie. That's scary. <laughs> Don't look at that card. All right. We lost. We lost everyone. It's coming down to the end. We're hitting the uh, hitting the runway here. Josh W. H I from Maryland going to end us out. A Luca Modric. <laughs> Jameson, weak. <laughs> weak. Weak. What? We're not a weak box. Is is uh is he weak? Is the one of one weak? Is that what you're saying? What what He's is talking weak? about? Dan Marino. Dan Marino. Where'd, where'd Cornbread go? Uh, Cornbread left us. Crystal banned him. He's not able to get in chat anymore cause, because of Crystal. All right. Here you go, Josh. This is the most full the trash can's ever been. First ever draft pick of the Dallas Cowboys, Bob Lilly, making an appearance. Bob Lilly. Such weird-looking shoulder pads. Number to 49. We've got Paul Krause. Speaking of, all-time interception leader was the rumor in chat. Paul Krause for the Vikings. Double deuce. Dropping a double deuce there for you. Double uh, double deuce on his jersey. I uh, need to clean that. Mike Schmidt. Mike Schmidt, Hall of Famer. A little baseball action here. Oh, great box, weak boom. Yeah. He's distracted. You know how these kids are distracted. No, I thought I pressed it. It didn't go off, though. Standard George excuse. Why don't you come over here and try to do it? Guaranteed you'll miss some. Never. Guaranteed. You know, I need to, I need the easy button, like staples over here, like the like a big red button I hit. You know they go with really thin 35 top loaders it's on this? Like, yeah, it's... I don't know how they get them in there. Got to use 59s. I guess it's good because the cards don't come out, though. So. Dave's in timeout. Yeah. 86,000 second timeout. Is that what it was? <laughs> All right. Come on. Last box. Let's pull something. Come on. I'm going to pull a hammy. You already pulled your back. I did pull my back. All right. Uh, we've got A.J. Griffin. I thought it was A.J. Green. I'm like, why'd they put A.J. Green in here? Uh, One of five. Nice. No, A.C. Green. I thought it was A.C. Green, the old basketball player. Not A.J. Green. That would make sense if A.J. Green was in here. Uh, Doc Gooden. You know what I'm going to say? That's a Gooden. That's a Gooden. Kind of quiet in here. All right. Ja Morant. Ja Morant. I, I did not, I have not seen a Ja Morant auto in a while. Sport Hero Scenography. That is a pink parallel. Clean autograph. Five of six. Five, six, John Morant going to Josh. Whee. That product was pretty good. I can see why it's a little pricey. Let me know in the comments or let me know in chat now if you want to try to get that back on the schedule again. I will tell you it's probably going to be a higher price point if we're able to get it. 
Hit the thumbs up button if you're watching. We'd love to get to 100 likes tonight. Uh, next week's breaks are listed for Monday, and we've got Mega Mixers, Immaculate Football, and also uh, Topps Sterling and Topps Tribute Baseball next Wednesday. So grab your spots early. They're going to be gone. She gone. She we'll, gone. We'll be right back.